Welcome and thanks for watching. Um, so I just about a month or two ago released my first um, iOS app um, for Apple. And at the time, I didn't really realize there was um, app store optimization available. So I basically just took some screenshots, uh, kind of like this, to give you an idea, you know, just on my phone and uploaded them to Apple in the correct uh, screen size. And then that was it. And so I didn't realize, because I've never really looked at screenshots of apps, I just know there's an app I want to download and I go download it, so I didn't really pay attention. Um, but there is a lot of optimization, just like you can do um, search engine optimization for websites, you can do app store optimization um, for the app store. So a lot of that comes with what does the branding look like? You can tell a story as people swipe through, you can have a preview video which can be 30 seconds long, which I do have now, but uh, I'm not going to talk about in this video. But I did want to show a quick way in literally 10 to 15 minutes, you can create much better looking uh, screenshots to upload on the app so or on the app store. So it starts with, you still need to take, if you want to, you don't actually have to have, when I call them screenshots of your actual phone and app, um, but I would take a few. So I have them both, my app does both light and dark mode. I just used a use context in um, React and my React Native app to, you know, have dark and light theme available. So I took a couple in both. Uh, if you don't have that, then obviously just take it in light mode if that's what you have. And so you get a collection of those. And so for that, I have, um, I basically have a folder here with the screenshots right from my phone that I just airdropped uh, to my Mac. And then I've got another folder here for the app images, and those are what we're going to create today. And I will show you how we do that. So let's get this off the screen. So I'm using Canva. You can use uh, similar apps, but I find this one easy. I just have a free account. Um, so you go to create design. And it's important here, you need to check on Apple screenshot specifications. For, so for iPhone apps, they have to be uploaded in the 6.9 inch display. So on the app store, it will actually show 6.9 and 6.5 renderings. Um, but even the 6.5s, you can see here, this is 6.5. The requirement is that you um, uh, do the 6.9 inch. So you can choose from these screenshot sizes. So when you build the Canva, you need to use one of these four. I'm gonna use portrait and just use the 1290 by 2796. And they do have to be exact or you're gonna spend a lot of time doing work and then trying to upload a bunch of screenshots and the app store is just gonna deny you and then you gotta start from the beginning. So um, I'm going to do a new one with 1290 by 2796. So we're gonna go custom 1290 by 2796, double check, 1290, 2796. Okay, great, and those are in pixels. We'll create the new design. Now, depending on what app uh, you're building, you can choose obviously different ways to look at this. Um, different color designs. I'm just using something very simple for my app, which is one of these gradients down here, uh, this one in particular. And if you click back into it, you can go here and click settings. And it allows you just real easily for free to do, you know, to change these. So each screenshot kind of has a little bit of a different background, but with the same color gradient. And then you're going to go to uploads. And I've already uploaded a few um, here to use. So I'm just going to um, pick this one for now and it's going to pop it in here. So just upload those screenshots that you took from your phone of your app and you can put those right here in the middle. I'm going to zoom this. I mean, close this and zoom us in a little bit. So now this image is squared. And when you upload this entire thing to the app store, it's automatically going to round the corners for you. So it looks better, but we need to round this one to make it look like if you want to, it's in an actual iPhone and not a square Android phone. So you can go right here, you click on the image, you go to corner rounding, edit all the way to 100, go to border, click this, and then I just did 20. I mean, you can mess around with this a little bit, but I think 20 here looks pretty accurate. Obviously, it doesn't have the buttons on the side or the little cutout here, but if you wanted to do that, you certainly can. This is just meant as an easy way to make something look a bit more professional on the App Store and to be able to tell a story. So then you've got this here. What I did is I kind of on a Word document put um, kind of taglines I wanted to talk about here and then what screenshot would go with it. So I kind of just had a list to go off of, but we'll just make something up here. So we'll add a heading, um, you know, maybe we'll call it, we'll do all caps planning. I'll do this in full size here. Let me back out a little bit. 
um, and then we'll do a subheading, you know, something like at your at your fingertips. Two words, one word, honestly, don't know, but we'll just do that. Two words. And Canva really makes it easy to line all this stuff up for you. And then I think we'll make this white. So we go up here, choose white. And I don't really love the gradient with the white up there, so maybe we'll change it so that um, we use like this one. Yeah, there we go. So now the white looks kind of better on that background, and I'm actually going to move this up to here. Now I would suggest as you scroll through, and I'll actually open this. Um, let me open up a new tab real quick here. Um, Show you what the app store looks like because this is important um, so here's a view of my current app store uh, on the iPhone and so you can see this kind of goes across like this and you know to the best of my ability try to tell a story but one thing that's important is that you want to make sure this stuff stays lined up so you can see here I kind of messed this up where these two, all this stuff on the top is lined up, but these are pretty lined up. And then this one looks a little different. And then you can see like this one's up here versus down here. So in hindsight, and next time I do a new build, so they only up upload when you upload a new version of your app. So I'm not going to do that for another week. But when I do, um, I would suggest keeping this so it's kind of locked in place here. So it looks smooth going across. And then of course, you can also do like I did here with this one is literally, there's no actual screen, this is called a screenshot, but there's no actual screenshot here. So it kind of shows you exactly what the app is meant to do, which is focus on the action part of any 12 step program. Um, and then it kind of just tells a story with different screenshots going through. I mean, most users are never going to look at all these, but you know, I guess you you can have up to 10. So why not? They're there. Um, and so then all you need to do from here with Canva is if you're happy with this and then by the way you can do things like you'll see if you go on the app store and look at some of your favorite apps and, and scroll through and what kind of what their screenshots look like you'll see some have them like this and i don't know for me this looked confusing and the screen looked really turned but you can have some fun you could add some shadowing here to make it kind of stand out more three-dimensional um there's some really cool stuff out there but um from there you just go to share download and here if you're using the free version it's why it's, you, you have to make sure this is correct because you can't change it after the fact uh, and then you just download it and it will download to the downloads folder and then I simply just move those into my app images folder which I'll do here on this screen give me one second and so now you can see this is the folder where all my screenshots are and now my app images, and if I open this one, whoops, you can see now we have this image, and this will work fine. So when you go to your App Store Connect, you simply hit um, upload, where it allows you to put the screenshots, and this should fit perfectly and meet all the requirements. Of course, if you're watching this video in a year or two years, just make sure you're checking the Apple Docs for whatever they're requiring at that point in time. So hopefully this was helpful. If you have any questions, just uh, leave them in the comments and I'll get back to them when I can. Thanks.